Hey you guys, it's me Rachel here with Sense of Tempo County Corso. So I just got done um, fixing Don Juan's kennel. Um, hey B-Man. Um, I put in a bunch of um, pea gravel for now. Uh, he is just very, very, very hard on his kennel. He runs constantly. He um, runs through his mess. He digs. I mean, he's just um, very hard on his kennel. And so has Blondie's started to get hard on hers. I only put her in here to get um, the weight loss or to get some weight loss on her because she had just really gotten too big. And um, she kept getting into the trash. And she's just overall just being relentless. And um, more important to me to get her weight down. Um, so... Um, yeah, we got Suki out here, hoping that she's pregnant. Um, I bred her to Preacher, so we'll see what happens with that. I'll take her in for an ultrasound this week. Um, dogs haven't eaten yet today, so they're waiting on food. Um, so um, this guy here, Venom, um, I did find him a new home. Um, we like him, and we do want to use him in the future, but he's not quite a dog that we feel that is worth like having on the property you know what I mean like I don't think I'm going to be showing him or anything like that so um so he's getting put into a into a pet home that with the ability for us to be able to use him um in the future if we want to um I've got Zoe in here with Hefe um yeah the Hefe man and um funny story about Hefe today so he jumped out of this kennel um, Savannah swears he did not use the bo the um, the doghouse. Um, swears he didn't. She she says he cleared it. I don't know about if I believe that, but that's what she said. And the FedEx guy. I guess the thing was that Savannah was out here, and um, and she didn't see him. I guess she had her headphones in or something. She didn't see him. And so, cause we get FedEx here all the time, and um, and they don't. Uh, you know, Hefe doesn't jump out. And so, but I guess she had her back turned. She was working over here in the front of the house or something. And um, he jumped out and just stood in front of the guy and the door. Um, he didn't um, try to um, attack the guy or anything like that. Um, he wasn't aggressive with the dude. And that was really cool. So it was interesting to see him. Um, <laughs> it was interesting to see him um, in his element again. That's the third time. That he has, when he felt the need to get into something, to, to, to get involved in a person on the property, he did. And he didn't, he didn't take it any farther than it needed to be taken. So I like that. He seems to really be, be maturing quite a bit out here, which I like. Um, you know, becoming more confident. So I've had him on Gentle Giant, the dog food, for a while. And um, he looks good. He's a little, he could he could use a little bit more substance right now as far as he's body fat is pretty low right now but um but overall I like the food unfortunately I don't think there's anything I'm going to be able to do about that foot and I think it's just is what it is and um because it just has not gotten better the, the foot got tighter but it, it just hasn't gotten better unfortunately and I could probably tape it or something like that but he would just take it off being out here and um and so anyway so um, but nonetheless, I, I still think that he will show, I mean, he's one, one ugly pastor and is not the end of a, of a nice dog. So I'm not really too worried about that. Um, mm, this is another kennel that I built recently that I need to, um, get it all sorted out. This is going to be fraternity. And then I've also got, I'm going to be extending, um, over here going this way a little bit. Uh, I will say that, um, I have put in a, uh, application. I have a meeting with, uh, zoning to be able to put in, um, a facility here. So that's not something that you can just do here. You actually have to, um, you have to apply for that. And so, uh, so I have an appointment, uh, coming up and, um, basically I'm going to be putting down a concrete slab and, um, I'm going to put down like a 100 foot long by I think 25 foot wide concrete slab. And um, that way um, the kennels will just be easier to keep clean and 
I won't have to worry about mud and dirt and all that kind of stuff. And I've, I've talked to some people who have dogs on concrete and it's actually not that bad. So long as you give them something else to lay on, like you don't want them laying on the concrete all the time. But if you give them these things called caranda, caranda beds, um, which are really hard for the dogs to chew up and stuff like that. Um, you can, um, you can prevent like the calluses and stuff that can happen from the dogs laying on the cement. So overall, it, it just, for me, it, I think it's going to be the best option. And a lot of people talk poorly about it, but when I spoke with people who have been using it, um, they've, they've had nothing but positive stuff to say. Quiet down. Um, in fact, they even said that it helps to keep their nails um, short too. You cut that out, Zoe. No, ma'am. You cut it out. You quiet down. So, so anyway, so, um, so like I said, so this would basically be, um, you know, on my property and, um, and, uh, it would be, you know, big enough for me to house all of my dogs. So, um, it's going to involve cutting down trees, the concrete slab, and then having the, um, uh, really dude he literally just hit me with that stick and then having the roof installed and um and so anyway so that's what I'll do and then I'll probably um what I'll probably end up doing is maybe um installing some fans up at the top like running electricity to it and getting some lights and some fans but overall I think I may do like a misting system or something um for the summertime if needed you know stuff like that um and so, uh, so I'm fixing to, uh, I bought the, no ma'am, no, um, I bought the tape measure and I'm, what did I say? Zo, you cut it out. You be quiet. You go in your box right now. Go in your bed. You're a bad dog. You're a bad dog, Zo. That's bad. Bad dog, Zo. Bad dog, Zo. You be quiet. What's up, big dog? You should be dog. You should be go dog. You should be heffy. Really? You're a bad dog, so. You go lay down, you bad dog. Who's a bad dog, so? Anyway. Had to get on to her for the barking. So, yeah. But other than that, um, everything's going really well. I've just, like I said, I've been putting in the work. And that's one of the reasons why I'm just doing the sand and just kind of little repairs here and there for right now. I don't want to invest heavily into something whenever I'm just going to completely do something else. So, um, I just did some, you know, pea gravel in Don Juan's kennel for now. I've got... I've got an extra, um, I've got an extra, uh, load and a half of sand coming on Monday. So I'm going to refill all these kennels with sand again. And I knew that it would, it would pack in pretty quickly. I mean, the first batch always does. Um, it's going to take a little bit to build up the substance that, you know, that I need, but, um, for them to not really get muddy. And then of course, obviously the dog's not digging as much, but nonetheless, Hopefully by the end of March, um, you know, early April, I will have my kennel set up um, on concrete with a ceiling uh, roof over it. And then we won't have to worry about it because the when it gets really super wet here, it's just not cool. And, um, and so anyway, so I also, um, I also did think of another way to... Um, so I'm going to use these tarps for the last time because once I build that thing, I don't, I'm not going to need these tarps anymore, but, um, but I, I, I did figure out a way that I can, um, use, um, basically these, like these pieces of wood, like, um, they're treated and I think they're eight foot and so they're wood and I just need to affix them to the outside of the kennel on one side and then I can use the tarp and connect it to the high side and then just connect it down to the low side and um, that will prevent water from building up on it because it will literally be at a um, at an angle and that was the big thing was I couldn't figure out how to do the angle thing 
And so, um, so anyway, so that's what I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna do. What are you up to, bro? So anyway, I gotta get back to work. I got a lot to do, but I just wanted to show you guys what I'm up to. I've been, um, doing some behavioral, um, I've just been watching with, uh, Mad Mortigan and, um, he, he's getting a little dominant with preachers sometimes, and so I'm just kind of monitoring that, and I'm having them out together so that I can watch those two and not be distracted by anybody else and make uh, any behavioral modifications that I need to when those moments present themselves, which is basically just when Mad Mortigan gets a little full of himself. So that's why I've got these two out right now. I'm just um, working on... Hey, big dog. Um... I'm just working on their, their, um, well, really his, Mad Mortigan's interactions and making sure that he remains respectful. So anyway, um, hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll talk to you later. Bye.